Good morning, everyone. Uh, I have a question. Did you eat breakfast this morning? I ate today because of this topic, breakfast habit. <clears throat> I don't eat breakfast every day right now, but I, uh, I always try to eat breakfast because, uh, because when I was in Japan, I always eat breakfast. And why breakfast is important, so. <clears throat> Typically, breakfast is important meal in a day, but there are many people who skip it. So today, I will want to introduce the problem of skipping breakfast and uh, the cause of skipping it and the solution for that. So uh, here's the question. Why people skip the breakfast? I interviewed some, some of my friends and they said, I want to sleep more and I'm not hungry right after I get, uh, she get up because she is uh, studied or like watching video until uh, too late night and sometimes she eats snack uh, on the night and also they say like I can I just can't be bothered to go and so how many people skip the breakfast? It is just one of the statistics, but according to the NPD group that offer the data, data and industry expertise, 28 of 80 to 34 years old men and 80% of uh, same years old women skip the breakfast in the US. <coughs> effects on uh, the skipping breakfast on our body. <clears throat> Usually they say uh, we likely to gain weight or lose the function of brain. Because during the night we use the sugar to fill us our body so our blood sugar level is low in the morning. Therefore our body doesn't work well without breakfast. Also our brain has a complex organ, so we should give nutrition for our brain. From the British Journal of Nutrition, we also cannot enhance memory, mood, and focus and attention without breakfast. So now <coughs> we know people uh, skip, sometimes people skip the breakfast and the reason of skipping breakfast. So let's talk about why we shouldn't skip breakfast and one of the solution for this problem. As I said before, breakfast has the good effect for us, especially for students. Uh, we can become to take a good class attendance and good score for the test. Even our paper is uh, becomes better because of uh, eating breakfast. <coughs> this is based on the data of healthy food choice in school. So in the United States, there is an activity of eating breakfast at school. The name is National School Breakfast Program. They provide the nutrition and low cost of free breakfast for the US student. And it is help if family do don't have enough money for this program. So it means eating breakfast habit is uh, really, really important for children. So if we create a good eating habit during childhood, uh, that is much better for our body. <clears throat> so in conclusion, some people skip breakfast, but it's not a good thing for us because breakfast has the essential nutrition for our body and brain. <clears throat> like, and yeah, breakfast doesn't need a large or, or X extravagant meal, but the most important thing is eat something, uh, to eat something. Especially the best timing is within two hours after you wake up and wake up. So finally eight week is in front of us, so everyone wants to take a good score or yeah, score, but probably we are busy to study in the morning, but if you take a higher score, uh, you should eat breakfast and then you might have a good day after eating.